spots filled in and I used the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Ebony and I went ahead and topped them off with the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter and this is a clear brow gel. So we're starting this up with our brows on and freshly cleansed skin and we're going to be applying the Glow Starter from Wham Glow and this is a mega illuminating moisturizer. I have been loving this lately. It is so beautiful under foundation and that's how we're going to be applying it today. So I'm going to be using Nude Glow today and there are three shades total. You can use any of them depending on what your skin tone is or what kind of look you're going for but I personally can use all three and I really love them. So the Glow Starter features vitamins, botanicals, hyaluronic acid, tioxy, golden root and this will brighten and clarify the skin. So this is a mega illuminating moisturizer. It's going to add lots of glow to the skin. It provides a really nice hydrated base like you can really feel it hydrating the skin and it will boost the look of dull fatigue skin. So who doesn't love that? I love looking glowy and like I've had a full night's rest so this really gives you that beautiful glow especially when you put it underneath your foundation which is like how I personally like to use it. So I'm just going to go ahead and dot some onto my face and I'm just going to blend it out onto the skin. And what I love so much about the Glow Starter is you can use this on the skin under foundation or you can actually mix this with your foundation to create a really glowy, like almost like a tinted moisturizer look. So sometimes I do that and I love the way it looks because it does have that illuminating effect so pretty for summer and if you have a tan going or if you want to go foundationless for summer and you just apply this on the skin it looks so glowy and beautiful one thing i really like to do is add a little bit more of the glow starter just a little bit more after i blend it all over my face to the high points of my face so on the cheekbones on the nose on the center of the forehead just a little bit more and it adds like an extra glow to the skin just blend it out around the nose and then i kind of like go up onto the cheekbones. So as you can see, it has a nice soft kind of glow to the skin. It's like lit from within. I really love the way this looks on bare skin. And as you move around, you can kind of see how the light catches the glow and it's just so, so pretty. So this is one of my favorite products from Glam Glow like ever. I love using this, it's so, so nice. So now I'm gonna go in with the Make No Mistake Foundation and Concealer Stick from Sephora. And I really love this because you can retouch with this, you can quickly like apply your foundation, or you can use this as concealer. So, so many uses, and it's nice and creamy when you apply it to the skin. So I'm gonna do a couple stripes, and depending on what kind of coverage you want, you can like layer this, or you can go really light. And just so you guys know, I wear the shade Oak, and it's number four. I'm just gonna add a little bit more where I need it because you know we like our full coverage on this channel. If you have a beauty blender, this looks really pretty when you blend out with that too. It's even more like summery because it adds like a dewiness. All right, so now I'm gonna conceal and I'm gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer. I have been using this every day, even to contour. So I'm gonna use the shade Almond under my eyes. So I like a lot of concealer, so I usually put it like in a highlighting kind of shape under the eye, I'm just kind of winging up. Chin, nose, I'm just gonna blend that out with the brush, same one I use for the foundation. So when I'm doing like a bronzy kind of glowy look like what we're doing today, I like using a liquid bronzer or like a concealer to really warm up the face. So I'm gonna go back in with the Born This Way Multi-Use Concealer in the shade Honey. You don't wanna use too much because it can be a little overwhelming. You wanna just use like a dot like that. And it spreads out a lot. As you can see, you need like one little tiny dot of it and you can really bronze up the face. And basically when I do this, I just give myself a nice tan even when I'm pale. If I use this technique, I just instantly look like really bronzy. So now I'm gonna add some blush to the cheeks and I'm gonna be using Yacht Life from Fenty Beauty. This is my favorite blush right now. It's so nice. I'll show you how I apply it. Sometimes I apply it from the stick just onto the cheek, but lately I've just been kind of taking my brush and dipping into it and I just kind of apply it right to the tops of the cheeks. You can like apply it straight from the stick just like this and then blend it out with the brush too. It works just the same. And for any bronzy look that I do, I always add lots and lots of like a peachy blush because it just makes you look more bronzy. Now I'm quickly going to take a little bit of powder and this is the Lancome Dual Finish. I'm just taking a tiny bit on my brush and I'm just going to set the very center of my face just so nothing creases and it's not too, too shiny. 
we are ready for the glow powder. The glow powder is the very first highlighter palette from your favorite sexy skincare brand, Glam Glow, and this palette features three complementary glowing shades. Here are three of the shades. We have Pearl Glow, which is the lightest. We have Nude Glow, which is the center shade, and then we have Sun Glow. So you can actually use these on your face and also on your body. You can mix them together to create your own custom highlight, or you can just use one to highlight. It's really kind of a multi use highlighting palette and we're actually going to use this not only on the face today but we're going to use it on the body and also on the eyes one thing i wanted to mention to you guys is that i'm sure all of you know that all highlights are different some of them will make your skin look a little bit textured some of them will be a little bit glittery but this palette in particular it highlights it enhances and softens the skin so it's not going to bring out any texture it actually makes the skin look very blurred and softened and it gives an almost lit from within look when you apply it it's really beautiful and I love it for a bronze look it's very nice on the skin so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it the first shade I'm gonna pick up is nude glow and it's the center shade and this is my favorite shade in the palette it's a nice beautiful golden tone you can kind of put this all over the face I'm just gonna dip my brush right in the center and I'm gonna apply it right to the most plump part of my cheek so right in the center and then I'm gonna bring it back kind of like around the eye in a C shape and I just like to bring it up right around the brow and just lightly blend it into the skin. And usually when I'm highlighting, I like to build my highlights. So I'll use different shades of highlighter all over the face. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Sun Glow shade, which is the deepest shade in the palette. It's a really beautiful bronze color. This even looks gorgeous on the eyes. And I'm gonna start working that right over the cheeks. So if you're using a matte bronzer, you can go right over the top with the shade Sun Glow and it just adds kind of like a bronzy glow to the skin. Because your bronzer is matte, this will add kind of a shimmer to it, like a highlight. And then I'll take a really small brush and I'll grab the lightest shade, which is Pearl Glow, and I'll use this to highlight the bridge of the nose. Just highlight the bridge of the nose, the chin. What I really love about the glow powder is that it smooths and it softens the skin. You can tell it gives you a more even skin tone than without. Like I can totally tell as I apply this, it's kind of evening everything out and smoothing it out. I also wanted to mention to you guys that glow powder is infused with hyaluronic acid. So that's going to really hydrate the skin and make it look so glowy. Anything with hyaluronic acid, I love because I love looking hydrated. I would definitely say this kind of highlight is for a no makeup makeup look or for a glowing, bronzy look. It's so beautiful on bare skin as well. If you don't wear any foundation and you pop this on, it looks really pretty. It's definitely a must have in my opinion. I really love it. All right, so now that we are glowing literally up to the heavens, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a quick bronzy eye look. So I'm gonna prime my lids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. I'm just gonna apply some to my lid, not too, too much, just like a little bit. And I'm just gonna blend it out. So I'm gonna be using a Sephora Pro Eyeshadow Palette, and this is the Pro Pigment in Warm. I love the editorial palette. It's like my favorite palette ever. And this one is like the warm sister to the editorial palette. And I absolutely love this. This is so pretty for summer. So I'm first gonna grab this really warm brown shade. And I'm gonna start working this into the crease and I'm gonna wing it out. So now I'm just grabbing a bit of this dark warm brown this palette. I'm working this dark brown color right into the crease and just kind of bringing it up. I don't want to darken this look up too much because I still want it to be really bronzy and pretty. So I'm not going to add too much darkness to it. Just want to keep it on the outer corner and then kind of bring it up. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab the center shade in the palette, which is Nude Glow, and I'm going to apply this to my lid. So what I like to do when I apply shadow to the lid, I always usually apply a shimmer using a setting spray or a setting mist. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the glow setter from Glam Glow to wet my brush and I'm just gonna spritz it onto the brush. Such a pretty eyeshadow color, it's gorgeous. So now I'm gonna grab the shade Sun Glow, which is the darkest shade in the palette. Really beautiful bronze color. I'm gonna apply this right next to New Glow. Now I'm going to be taking a Pearl Glow and applying this to the inner corner of the eye and also on the brow bone because I love this color to kind of pop the eye look because it is so nice and bright and pearly. It's really pretty as like an inner corner. And I'm also going to apply it right onto the center of the eyelid. Just 
right in the middle where like that light hits. So I always like to add a little bit of smokiness to the lower lash line. So I'm just gonna take the light brown shade right here in this palette. I'm just gonna connect it to the shadow that's on the lash line and kind of bring it up. And then what I like to do is take my fluffy brush and then just blend it all outwards. So I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Roach. This is my favorite brown eyeliner for any bronzy look and I'm just filling in the waterline with it. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna pop on some mascara and some lashes and then we'll be back to do lips. So when I do a bronze look, I love doing a bold lip. So I usually do like an orange lip or I'll do a red lip if I'm doing like bronzy eyes. But today we're gonna be doing a bright orange and this is the Sephora Lip Stories lipstick in the shade Hot Havana. These lip stories are my obsession. They're super creamy, they're soft on the lips and I love the packaging. They have like different places in the world, different destinations around the tube and I love that. It makes it so fun to like put on lipstick like different colors. I bought a ton of these because I love them. So now that we have the lips done, our look is almost complete. I'm gonna show you guys how to highlight your body using the glow powder. So this looks really beautiful on the center of the chest and the shoulders. If you're wearing like a shirt that kind of is like mine right now, like you can kind of see your collarbones, it's really pretty to apply this kind of around the chest area. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. So I'm actually gonna use the glow starter that we used in the beginning of this tutorial as sort of like a primer for the powder. So when you apply powder, it's always nice to apply something underneath it that is like a cream because it's gonna add that extra oomph to it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my chest. And because I want more of a golden glow, I'm gonna take the shade New Glow in the center of the palette and I'm gonna use this to highlight my collarbones and my chest. I really do feel like adding in that body highlight with the glow powder just ties everything together. Your body and your face are equally glowing and it just looks so summery and like bronzy. It just you don't realize it until you actually do it, like what you're missing. I love, love highlighter. All right, you guys, so our entire look is complete. The makeup is done, so we're gonna go ahead and set everything. This is one of my favorite parts of doing makeup is kind of locking the look in and refreshing the skin. So we're gonna be using the Glow Setter from Glam Glow, and this is a really beautiful product to set your makeup with. The Glow Setter is infused with Tea Oxy Complex, and Tea Oxy Complex is green tea, red tea, and white tea. It's also paired with charged waters and caffeine, so it's really gonna refresh and wake up the skin. Another thing I wanted to mention about this product that I really love is you can use it throughout the day, so not only just to set your makeup and to lock it in, but you can actually use this to refresh and wake up your skin throughout the entire day. So if you're feeling a little bit dry and you want to refresh the skin, you can spritz this on and it's gonna feel so refreshing. I also love that it's in a pink bottle and I'm obsessed with pink, so I totally think this is like the cutest spray ever. I'm just gonna go ahead and spritz this all over my face and I'm gonna do a little bit of my chest to make it glow a little bit more. All right, everyone, this is the finished look. It's very glowy, very bronzy. I really like how it came out and I hope you guys did too. And I hope you loved seeing the new Glam Glow products. If you guys are interested in checking them out, I'm gonna have them linked down below for you guys. And before we go, don't forget to subscribe right now and like this video if you did enjoy it. And I will see you all in my next tutorial.